All right, great fans, if you are uh, a big watcher of the Netflix show Bridgerton, you can enjoy an afternoon tea that is fit for a queen right here in Los Angeles. Christy Fardo is downtown. You know, Christy, I was at the grocery store the other day, and I walked by a display that was selling Bridgerton tea, and I almost fell out of my shoes. Now you can actually drink it at <laughs> home or go to a fancy place like where you are. Yeah, I feel totally underdressed. And if you ever needed an excuse to wear a crown or maybe one of those big gray powdered wigs, well, now you have it. Take a look at this. Look how beautiful this is. As you said, it is a afternoon tea fit for a queen. And this is a partnership with Netflix. And Nysis is with Netflix. And and tell us about the immersive experience. Well, this is our Bridgerton afternoon tea here at the Biltmore Hotel, and it is inspired by the Shondaland hit series on Netflix, Bridgerton, obviously. We have created this amazing menu uh, that is really inspired by the show's themes and characters, and so we've created this sort of set of delectable treats and delights for people to enjoy. And you said Regency attire is not required, but people do dress up. Yes, people do really enjoy dressing up for the experience to fully immerse themselves, but it's not required for this experience. Uh, you know, people come in business casual or formal or however they're most comfortable. And uh, it runs through July? Yes, yeah. we are having the afternoon tea here through the end of July, and tickets are available at BridgertonAfternoonTea.com. And I have to ask, because everybody's wondering, will the Duke be back in season three? I cannot confirm any information about season three, although we do love him. And, you know, this meal, look at this, so beautiful. And for every single one of these items you see here, there is a tea pairing. There is a tea sommelier. Yes, that is a thing. And Andrew is a tea sommelier. And tell us about how these teas pair with uh, what people will be eating. Oh, well, good morning, LA. Good morning, everyone. So there's five teas here that we have as part of the Bridgerton afternoon tea. Let's go ahead and start with our first one, the Lady Whistledown. Now, the Lady Whistledown, this one is a very light and refreshing tea encompassing elements of hibiscus, blood orange, and key lime. We'll move on to our next tea, the High Regency, named for the era of that time. Now, this one, this one's going to encompass rose hips, rose petals, vanilla. There's a couple of items on there that or on our tray that will pair up with that nicely. Next, going to the Bridgerton Sterling, uh, named for the currency of the era. Now, this one is a lavender Earl Grey with hints of cream in this one. That one, a very big favorite. I saw a lot of our, of our patrons choosing that one. We'll move on to the English Voyager. Now, this one is a breakfast tea. And what goes well with breakfast? You guessed it, caffeine. So <laughs> That's what I need. Oh, yes. So with the English Voyager, there's elements of cacao nibs, or let's simply put it, chocolate in there. So breakfast chocolate, you can't go wrong with that one. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, so a lot. It's yeah. a feast for the eyes, a feast for basically all of the senses, and we're going to have more for you coming up. So let's send it back to you.